What's going on everyone and welcome back to my channel and the movie I want to take a look at right now is Mass. Now this one comes to us from Bleecker Street. This is going to be kind of their awards push uh, film and this one is written and directed in a debut feature from Fran Kranz and this one tells the story of an aftermath of a violent tragedy that affects the lives of two couples in different ways. So we get four people in a room talking about this tragedy that affected both of them and that is your movie. You know, going into this, I never saw a trailer for it, but I love Bleecker Street because they can kind of like come out of nowhere, have like a really good one each year to push for awards consideration. I received this one in the mail. I put it off to the side. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not that I didn't want to watch it. I just had a lot of stuff to catch up on. Then Chris Stuckman released his top 10 movies of 2021. Other uh, YouTuber uh, that does movie reviews and stuff. He put Mass as his number one. I had it in my possession. Let's give it a watch. Let me just say this. If I were to have created a list for last year. Pretty dang sure this would be on there. This movie... Like, I'm already starting to tear up just talking about it. This film is incredible. It is a masterclass of dialogue, story, and character, performance in a self-contained area. And the fact that this is his first film, uh, Fran Kranz, which, by the way, it is so... Uh, it is so funny to me that if, if I were to explain this movie, like, oh, it's written and directed by Frank Kranz, they're like, who, who's that? I'll be like, it's the stoner from The Cabin in the Woods. It just, it, it makes me laugh. But um, yes, it is, a, it is a wonderful exercise as a first time director and writer to utilize four performances and just let them run loose and let them, um, speak your dialogue and progress that story and really become these characters, it has the recipe for having something really potent and emotionally powerful. And that's what this film is. Um, to start with uh, Frank Kranz, I think the way he moves this story is, is something that I haven't seen from a first-time director in a long time. Um, they set the stage very early on that two couples are coming to this church to talk about something. And there's some type of counselor or some type of medium that's setting this up. And, you know, they come into this church and like we see the, the one of the church people and they're like, oh, OK, do you guys need anything and all that stuff? And so we kind of understand that this is going to be, you know, a private thing. And like th this is where the laundry is going to be aired out, if you will. But as these two couples started talking. It got progressively sadder and it got progressively intense. And as soon as they start talking, the tension is set. That bar is set and it just, it just cuts through the entire thing because you have no idea what they're going to say next because they have two different perspectives on this tragedy. Um, even though it, it affected both of them, they have a different viewpoint. Um, so they each lost, uh, without spoiling anything too much, they each lost their son, uh, their sons. And so those two deaths were correlated with one another. That's all I'll say. And so as they're kind of like talking and you're hearing from each point of view, it's just a fascinating conversation because if your child died in this tragedy and then there is a couple that also had one of their sons die in the same tragedy. Knowing that one of them was the uh, the perpetrator, I I wouldn't know how to approach that honestly. And and just seeing all of them kind of have this therapy, this open therapy towards one another, was really it was emotional stuff from the get go. And the amount of guilt and pain and sadness that are weighing on all four of their shoulders is palpable. You can feel that 
through the scream. And it's the, it's the masterful direction and tightly written script that Fran kind of came up with. And, and uh, trusting his editor to piece it together and make it just kind of snap and pop every single line of dialogue. It's, it was like watching uh, it was like watching a play um, I, I think it, I don't know if he was, he was trying to write it like that but it felt a lot like a play but it was um, a great first feature to kind of flex your your script muscle and your your directing muscle and really craft a story that yes is set in one location but making us care about every single word that lingers. Uh, out there from each character it just it's really impressive stuff but it, it's an emotionally dense story it got me a couple times where I started tearing up because the subject matter was so intense it it, it was an emotional roller coaster for sure and to see it kind of play out in real time as well was really impressive uh, too because that's also kind of the um coordination that you have with your actors and like getting like the best performance out of them and making sure like the emotional swells are hitting at the right moments like it, he was the conductor and this was the orchestra that we were watching and it was so impressive on his end um i also liked how characters were not open at first they would shut down and then as the 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 film progressed and as the story kind of grew and the characters grew and they were able to kind of break free of this this guilt and this sadness then they would start to kind of turn a little bit and they would like be a little bit more open and they would kind of admit their faults and their guilts and that is another thing that is so brilliant about this film is that these are just four people that experienced something really horrific but they are they're having a hard time discussing it and that's the, that's the thing that I I'm trying to do better in my life and I know a lot of people are having trouble with in their lives is expressing how they freaking feel. And that is a hard thing to do is to be vulnerable and especially when uh, the two parents you know, that you're talking to, you may not agree with. That's really hard to do and hard to admit your faults and hard to just be human. And so this story also takes those points too where like some of them are a little bit more closed off in the beginning. Then by the end of it, they are so open and like they, they're admitting their faults and they realize that like they can't hold on to this burden anymore. They would like to be free from this. They cannot change the past. They have to move forward. And just seeing all those moments were just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, and so Fran Kranz, hats off to you, sir. Please, if you're going to do more stuff um, in the future, I, you got me now. This was a such an impressive debut that I'm a fan of yours now, uh, if you want to write and direct. Okay, so uh, obviously Frank Kranz is a MVP of this film. You know who's the other MVP? The four cast members. Holy crap. I, I've i seen most of them in other films. Haven't seen them like this in a while. Um, everyone was on top of their A-game. To see the combativeness, the chemistry... The back and forth between all four of them was so uh, intense to watch. And it was so controlled in the way they were delivering their lines and making sure that the, the emotional pops were happening at the right moment. And they would then they would uh, retreat back and be reserved a little bit. Then they would explode and then they would break down and then they would comfort each other. It's just, it's such a balanced performance from all four of them expranging or expranging did i just make up a word expressing a range of emotions that are just uh relatable and stuff that we all go through and just seeing it actually happen on screen through the process of grief and loss it's just it affects you because we've all been there and just seeing how they're kind of dealing with it is some of the i guess emotional frustrations we all have and just seeing them kind of portray that on screen was just really it was sad at times but it was also like i said it was just it was a wonderful thing to see people you know kind of get over um you know something that that is holding them back and and trying to move forward the best way they can like that's oh i i could talk about this movie for hours i just i love just everything about it um but like i said the performances are just out of this world um all, all four of them got they gotta get a shout out 
Jason Isaacs and Martha Plimpton, they they play the first couple. Definitely um, from their viewpoint and everything, and just uh, uh, Jason Isaacs bottling everything in. Martha Plimpton, you know, being, um, you know, kind of reserved a little bit. It just, all that was just, it was so wonderfully done. And then Ann Dowd and Reed Burney, um, they play the other couple. They play that off really well because they have a different perspective on what happened and, you know, how their son is going to be remembered and everything. It's just, and then by the end of it, Ann Dowd completely does a 180 with her character, which makes total sense. And I was, I was like, this was so, so great. Cause like, I thought it was over and then it kept going and I was like, this is perfect. Like what a, what a perfect little ending. So yeah, I think all four of them are absolutely dynamite. This is not going to happen. All four of them deserve to be in awards, uh, consideration. Uh, Fran Kranz definitely for script. Please make that happen. Um, but yes, all four of them, I, I just think, uh, did an excellent job. Guys, I don't know what else more to say about this. It is an absolutely uh, phenomenal piece of film about grief and loss and basically open therapy and how um, bottling stuff in is not good. And I think talking it out, even if who you're talking to may, may be in the wrong with some of the things that they say, I, I think it's very important to air the air that stuff out. And so... I don't know what personally happened to Fran Kranz. This seems like a very personal story. Um, but that's sometimes where the best art comes from is um, deep within. So if you can check out Mass, check it out. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. It's very, it's once again, it's set in one location. It's four characters talking. And I was just riveted from start to finish. So let me know down below what you think of Mass, whether you loved it, uh, thought it was okay, hated it, whatever. I'd like to know your thoughts. And that will do it for this review, guys. I'm Chase Lee, and tune in next time for whatever I review next. I will see you guys later.